This is video TR-04Z, covering degrees, minutes, and seconds, often called DMS notation. Z videos cover supplemental material that probably isn't mandatory for a trig class, but might be interesting or enlightening. When measuring and expressing fractions of degrees, it's most common today to simply use decimals. For example, 40.5 degrees is the angle halfway between 40 and 41 degrees. But there's another way to express fractions of degrees that goes back to ancient times and was fairly common up until the digital age. In this system, partial degrees are expressed in minutes and seconds. One degree is divided into 60 minutes, or 60 minutes of arc, and each minute is divided into 60 seconds of arc. It sounds like I'm talking about parts of an hour instead of parts of a degree. If you think of a degree as an hour consisting of minutes and seconds, the conversion math will be pretty simple. So 1 degree equals 60 minutes of arc. The symbol for minute is the prime character that looks like a single quote. 1 minute equals 60 seconds of arc. The symbol for second is the double prime character that looks like a double quote. The DMS system is handy to know because you might encounter it in old diagrams, schematics, or treasure maps. Here's what it looks like. This refers to an angle of 94 degrees, 17 minutes, and 44 seconds. Let's convert this angle measurement to decimal form. Well, the whole degrees portion is simple because it doesn't require any conversion. So our answer is going to be 94 point something degrees. We add the number of minutes divided by 60, since there are 60 minutes in a degree. Then we add the number of seconds, 44, divided by 3600 since there are 3,600 seconds in a degree. Here's the result. Let's look at these conversion factors in more detail. Remember, a unit conversion factor is a fraction whose numerator and denominator denote the same measurement but are expressed in different units. So when we took 17 divided by 60, we actually took the 17 minutes from the original angle and multiplied by the unit conversion factor of one degree per 60 minutes. When choosing the conversion factor, the denominator, the bottom half of the fraction, should represent the units you want to convert away from. Since we have minutes and want to convert to degrees, we use one degree per 60 minutes, since we want to convert away from minutes. So the minutes cancel out, and the 17 divided by 60 represents degrees, just as we want. When we divided the number of seconds, 44, by 3600, we actually took the 44 seconds and multiplied by the unit conversion factor of 1 minute per 60 seconds, since we want to convert away from seconds. Well, the seconds cancel, and that leaves us with minutes, which isn't what we want either. We want degrees. We want to convert away from minutes, so we multiply by 1 degree per 60 minutes. Now the minutes cancel too, leaving us with 60 times 60 in the denominator, and the resulting units of degrees, just as we wanted. Answers should usually be rounded to four decimal places. DMS allows for the expression of very precise measurements. It was mostly used for astronomy and navigation over very large distances. Let's do another. Let's convert 20 degrees, 46 minutes, and 29 seconds to decimal. With a little practice, you can do it on a calculator on one line. 20 plus 46 divided by 60 plus 29 divided by 3600, 20.7747 degrees. Here are three more you can pause and try on your own. Going the other direction is pretty easy too. Let's explain it with an example. What is 26.755 degrees expressed in DMS notation? Well, it's always easy to start with the whole degrees. Our answer will be 26 degrees, then some minutes and seconds. To determine how many minutes, take the fractional part, in this case 0.755, and multiply by 60. What we're really doing is multiplying 0.755 degrees by 60 minutes per degree. The degrees cancel, leaving us with minutes. 45.3 minutes, actually. So we take the whole part, and that's our minutes. And we again take the fractional part of this number, 0.3, and multiply by 60 which is multiplying 0.3 minutes times 60 seconds per minute. The minutes cancel, leaving us with 18 seconds. 
so our answer is 26 degrees, 45 minutes, and 18 seconds. It's easy to check your work by going the other direction. Here's another. What's 86.9527 degrees in DMS notation? We have 86 degrees and keep that. 0.9527 times 60 equals 57.162, so we have our minutes, 57, and take the fractional part of minutes, 0.162, and multiply by 60 to get 9.72 for our seconds. If you get decimal seconds, you can just round to the nearest whole number or carry one decimal place. If your instructor covers this topic in class, you can check with them to see what their preference is. I'll just round to 10, so our answer is 86 degrees, 57 minutes, and 10 seconds. Here are three more you can pause and try on your own. Finally, here are some questions you should be able to answer. You might need a calculator. Pause if you like and test your understanding. I'll show the answers, and that will be the end of this video.